Suspect vehicle in pursuit. Confirm, pursuit engaged. Any units on non-essential calls directed to clear and stand by to assist. This is Dallas, Texas, the real home of street racing. You've got guys down here in Texas making over a million dollars a year, driving $400,000 cars, going 200 miles an hour on the highway. We'll buzz by a cop and we won't even think twice. We have the fastest, sickest street legal cars in America. You know those guys in Oklahoma City? They say they have the fastest street cars in the country. No way. That's us. When we hit the streets, it is lights out. I'm Thomas. I'm pretty much your typical American dad. Ready? Go. You want to go ride in the Corvette? Yeah. I'm married with a three-year-old son. Perfect. <laughs> and he loves cars as much as I do. See the turbo? Mm -hmm. It's got two of them. Having a family. All right, let's go for a ride. And street racing. Yeah. Have a funny way of mixing. All right, bub. Okay. Bye, buddy. It's not every kid that gets dropped off in preschool by a thousand horsepower Corvette. Yeah. I actually think my son may have been conceived on top of Thomas's car. I work at a sales company where every year the top producer gets a Rolex. So every year I take my watch and I sell it and I put it into the engine. Now, racing is a full-time thing. There's over 150 racers in our group. Each person is fighting for the top spot. Every city has an A, B, and C team. And every few weeks, the Dallas guys and I get together and see who's gonna fight for top rank. These cars down here are every guy's fantasy. You've got GTRs, Vipers, Corvettes, Lamborghinis, everybody's making well over a thousand horsepower just to get a seat at the table. It's kind of like your next door neighbor, you know, he gets a new car, you gotta get a new car. Someone goes faster, you gotta beat them. You can't be a step behind anybody in this area. In order to compete the Texas Invitational, you have to be on the A-team. Every spring, that's where they crown the king of the streets. Houston has won every frickin' time. This group is not just about loud cars, it's about loud personalities. First up is Will. He looks like a punk, but he will burn your ass on the road. You don't have time to think about anything while you're racing. If you think about other stuff, you die. <laughs> you got pretty fucking rocked, man. I'm the troublemaker in the group. Big, built, badass Corvette. Dog ass bike. I'm the one that will get in your face and tell you you're wrong. Where's the Avalon, homie? Hey, who's one and all against Will here? Who's had a fast car last five years? <laughs> Leave me alone, boy. <laughs> Racing is the only thing that makes all your other problems really non-existent. And there's Elliot. He's the big mouth of the group. I'm one of the top five Dallas guys. I'm loud, my car's fast, I'm pretty, and uh, rowdy. Yeah, it looks like I uh, killed a bull. The last thing that went through his mind was his asshole, that's for sure. He loves to brag about his cars and his boats and obviously his beautiful wife. All I ask is that one day there will be life after your car. You loved me because I had the cars, and now you're mad because I have the cars. I loved you because you had a boat. <laughs> I've always had the speed in me. Fast cars, fast boats, fast trucks. That's just always how I've gotten my fix. I don't do the drugs, I don't do the girls, I just haul ass. And there's Kelly. He's the feisty old dog. My name's Kelly, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Hollywood. People perceive me as kind of the arrogant, cocky guy. A lot of times I could show up to it Harvin, and I could feel the tension increase in the room. I get a kick out of that. Kelly's kind of a douchebag. Kelly and Elliot cannot even say hi without mixing it up. You have a Viper that looks like a Honda S2000. Well, you know, they mistake yours for Ronald McDonald's shoe. You know, it's yellow. You know, it's like Ronald McDonald took a piss on it. You should get the idea, man. It gets attention. That's why you got your hair all spiky. And... Is your hair as spiky as mine? Let me see your peach fuzz. Elliot, he's kind of my nemesis, I'm his nemesis. He is today what I was about five years ago. I don't know whose car's faster, mine or Kelly's, because his is never running, so I don't know. Lost the turbo seal, it's pushing a little oil off the passenger side. I'm done for the day, but it could be a lot worse. I think they kind of resent the fact that without me on their team right now, they would really get their ass kicked. Then there's Dave Feldman, AKA White Lightning. He is as wide as he is tall. I'm 5'7", 320, and I bench press over 500 pounds. He has a suspension adjusted on the driver's side of his car just to handle his weight. I'm about to drag a slow-ass vet driven by Falcon. You know what? Bring your little beetle, you oh, ginger shit. leprechaun looking <laughs> 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 Every few weeks, we'll bring our A-team down south and take on Houston. 
Those guys have fast cars and fat wallets. Why is Houston so good? Because we got all the money and all the good cars. Houston is led by a guy named Mullen. He has two Lamborghinis. He even has a diamond encrusted oil cap on his car. I mean, this guy is made of money. I'll run anybody, anytime. It doesn't matter. Put up or shut up. We are fed up with the Houston guys bragging about their cars. Sometimes we'll slip a guy some cash or run out an airfield and settle the differences out there. Are you in or out? Did Can you race or not? I'm in. Do you want some too? Oh, I'll take some. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Good. That's three way. Sometimes we just take it to the highways at night and settle it on the street. Right now, I'm on the B team, pretty much on the outside looking in. But that's all about to change. I have to win.